Alright, hello, anyone watching this right now? I'm making a tutorial on how to make this right here. That's the 3D effect I did in my last previous video. And I hope you like it, and I'll teach you how to do this right now. So what you're going to do is just make a ton of uh, tracks. So you're going to make a uh, insert 3. So you go insert one video track, insert two video tracks, and then insert the third one. Now what you're going to do is go to the very bottom one and uh... insert text I guess I'll name it tut again T-U-T -T. now what you're gonna do is just find a text you like um... I'll find a really blocky one kinda I just saw one, where was it? I'll use this one right here, that's good enough now the property you should change it to Whatever color you want it to be, like a orange, you want to make it brighter because it's going to turn out darker. So like right here would be good. And by the way, just so you have it ready by now, put the feather to 700 on the draw shadow and effects on the media generator. And then I change this to be a little bit off, like 54 on the Y opposite and then the X 36. That will make the shadow really nice. Now since you got the bottom thing done, you want to click on the top track once on the first keyframe and then get some type of texture or like um, like stone wall or whatever like I got off Google and uh, change the blending mode to Mulk Time Mask you probably can't see it that well but it's bleeding through if you want it to see better you want to go on bump map upper right glow drag it in just a little bit closer and then put the bump map height a little bit lower and uh, this uh, ambience a little bit better which will make it a better glow. And then on the text you can do whatever you want. But go again, upper right glow on bump map. And uh, it makes it look a little bit nicer. I'll drag a little bit closer. Add more ambience, a little bit less bump, and then a little bit more intensity. That's so what will make the, the um, like colors and everything look a little bit better. And uh, what I'm going to do is change the text to be a little bit bolder. I saw there's one like right next to it that was a little bit thicker than th that one. Um, I'll just find one real quick. I'll use, uh, that, I guess. This is pretty thick. Looks kind of weird, but, oh well. And if you want to make it look, oh wow. If you want to make it look a little bit, um, thicker, like the 3D, what you want to do is, uh, copy, click on this. Paste it over it, and uh, what you're gonna do is uh, go on pan and crop. And when it says 12 video by 720, just keep dropping it, and I'll put it down. And then on this, you drop it, and I'll move it a little bit to the left, and I'll add a little bit more of 3D effect. Since you've done that now, now you're gonna take a snapshot. Once you've taken that snapshot, you gotta wait for it to load. Once it's loaded, put it in the middle track and delete the top and bottom ones and delete the original media you made it out of which is this once you have this you can um add a new video track if you want put over a texture like this one I got over Google see it already looks kinda 3D kinda nice but if you want it to look better I'll show you how to do this so I have the texture under it everything's nice I'm gonna zoom it in a little bit since I have that I'm gonna um add a little bit of bump map to the texture I'm going to add a lot of intensity a lot of ambience barely any bump map just like just like that much a little bit more just makes it look more HD you know since you have that now now the last thing you're going to do is add a adjustment layer so you're going to add a new video track go down to uh, magical looks put on default and then put composite on the left of it click on this and click on edit um... that's what I added earlier I'll show you how to do it right now so it looks normal to make it look better you're gonna um... scroll down from the top and look for hot halo gen put it over it once you're on this you want to drag it to whatever specific like color you want it for it since you have that now you're gonna um... Go to post, put on color curves, and um, put the contrast. 
uh, or a little bit less, and then and that, now add red. Do the same thing, kind of, until you find a decent amount of color. And then the last thing you're going to add, go on lens and chromatic. Once you have a chromatic aberration, you're going to put red scions and something. And then green scions is like 7,000. That's, give me a sec. It's kind of hard to do with this. Uh, thousand's decent enough, I guess. And then put this up to 1,000 again, the lower one, until you see it as even as possible. Keep uh, messing around with the sense of it until you uh, found something that looks decent. Alright, this one looks good. Now click finish. Now we're going to let this load and see how it looks like. Looks a lot better. What you can do is like um, keyframe it by uh, zooming in like this. Uh, or what you could also do is uh, keyframe it 3D, so put on 3D source alpha, go on track motion. Doesn't really motion track, just tra like as a feature. And then you can rotate it, rotate it there, and then move it to like right here, and then rotate it again. As you can see, it will, will, it will rotate. You just gotta keep trying, and then um, once you find your right settings, it'll look good, and you'll get the effect. Alright, this has been Creepy Panda, and I'm off and signing out. Peace.